Welcome, young and old, to another epic episode of Mac Music Review. In this episode, we are looking at the album Everybody by Logic, and this is the album cover. Everybody is an extremely ambitious album, and I think the most commercially successful Logic album because of this song, 1-800, which features Khalid and Alicia Cara, who were both very popular at the time. Khalid actually ended up being more popular afterwards, and Alicia Cara just kind of, she's kind of faded in popularity and relevance. But they were both very big artists at the time, and they hopped on this Logic song, and the themes of the song and everything, and it just, the song just became a mega hit. It got Grammy nominations for crying out loud. You know it was big if a Logic song got Grammy nominations. But this album is enormous. It's got 13 tracks on it, and it's like an hour and 10 minutes long because these songs are long. The first song is over seven minutes long. Uh, Hallelujah is the name of that song. Confess is over five minutes. Take It is over, I mean, uh, Take It Back is over six minutes. America is over five minutes long. Anxiety is over six minutes long. Spider-Man is over five minutes long. And the final song is over 12 minutes in length. That is crazy. This, everybody, is a concept album. And there's a few concepts that kind of run throughout the album. The, the message of peace, love, and positivity. And really, more, more so than just those are kind of generic, peace, love, and positivity. The album is really about fitting in and about racism. And in the album, Logic, kind of, it's kind of a meme, but Logic extensively goes over about him being biracial. And Logic himself has made fun of himself on Confessions of a Dangerous Mind on the song Keanu Reeves. He says, it ain't a Logic song if I'm not talking about being biracial, <laughs> which is... Because this album got criticized for that, because he just kind of talks about it obsessively. Um, the songs he specifically addresses this, everybody... The song, yeah, the song is about... This album is... The biggest thing about this is everybody. It's about acceptance. It's about accepting all different races. Like on the end of Most Definitely, where he talks about how black people are beautiful, incredible, amazing. Yeah, that's, that's actually um, the outro to that song. It goes on for a while, too. But that's not all that he talks about. He doesn't just talk about racism and stuff. Um, you also have a religious theme going throughout this album, and the actual concept they have it plays out in the form of skits at the end of Hallelujah in the song Waiting Room, and concludes the narrative of the album concludes on the final song Africarian, which is about this guy who dies, and then he's talking to God in the waiting room, which is like a big white void, and God explains that basically. In the voice of Neil deGrasse Tyson, because that's who actually plays God on this album. They actually got him on the album, which is pretty epic. But he, he plays the role of God, and he says, Basically, all of the religions got it right. You're going to be reincarnated in a different time period. And they say the, the purpose of the reincarnation is that every single time you're reincarnated, you learn something new and you that you are every single person and you eventually will become a God. And there's, a, there's more of us. There's more gods. There's not just one. And it is absolutely bonkers. The story and the narrative on this album is literally insane. So I think I've established that this album is extremely ambitious, and I think that ambition actually pays off. I think Logic does tackle these themes very well. He also, uh, stuff I didn't talk about, uh, anxiety, like, obviously, is about anxiety, about anxiety attacks and the effects anxiety can have on a person, and just dealing with anxiety. Logic had an anxiety attack he talks about on the outro to the song, and there's two of those. There's, like, outros where he just kind of talks instead of rapping. He does that on this song, and he also does it on Take It Back, where he tells about the story of his childhood and trying to, and, you know working a bunch of jobs and having, you know, these two parents super addicted to drugs, a black dad and a white mom. And, and man, it's kind of a, it's, it's a sad story. It's a real serious story, but, um, yeah. I think he tackles most of these themes very well. I think he kind of falters on the song America, which is a political anthem that is so blatantly, blatantly political and in your face. There's a there's a lyric on the song where he says, I'm telling all of my people of color, don't run away from Trump, run against him. He literally, like, there's literally no subtlety on this song, and it just, it sounds really silly listening to it now. Even if it could have been relevant then, it just sounds 
flat out goofy listening to it now. Even so, I think he does tackle most of these themes very well, and the production on this album is fantastic. Fan-tastic. Amazing. This album sounds incredible. Like, Hallelujah just, just blows you away. There, there's a lot of mind-blowing moments. Like, Hallelujah, immediately your ears are just like, what is going on? And then you're just hit with it, and you're like, ah! There is a, there's a small problem in this album with how long these songs are. Eventually, you're like, okay, these sound great, but they don't change a whole lot. Most of the songs don't really evolve and transform as they progress. So, uh, the songs are a little bit too long on average. But that's still, the production on that song is awesome. Anxiety, amazing production. Black Spider-Man wants you to, makes you want to get up and dance. Africarian is extremely repetitive, but very good from a production standpoint. Most definitely has a killer beat. Inkblot sounds good while it's on, but it's a more transitional moment. It's not a real full sounding song. America has an absolutely killer hook in terms of production alone. Take It Back sounds great while it's on. Once again, that's like a very short song and then it just kind of transitions to the story part. Killing Spree, Confess, Everybody. All of the songs in this album have great production. Literally all of the songs. So yeah, I mean, as terms of complaints, yeah, he does talk about being biracial a lot, but it's something that really matters to him. And the themes on the album, he does talk about himself a lot, but I feel like he also tries to expand it successfully to include racism and acceptance as a whole. And, you know, these themes of just, you know, you know, anti-racism, just these themes of these themes of acceptance on songs like Black Spider-Man, where and, you know, you could say he's trying too hard. It seems genuine to me. Also, i got to point out before I close out this review, the ending of Africarian, it's a fantastic song. It is extremely repetitive, but it's totally worth it for the payoff that is the outro to this song, which J. Cole does. It's like a surprise, kind of like, sounds like a bonus track, almost, at the end of the song, and it's excellent. It's one of the best endings I've ever heard on a rap album. So overall, this thing is extremely ambitious, and the ambition occasionally doesn't work out, but a lot of times it does. Logic tackles a lot of serious topics on this album, some of them very well, specifically on 1-800 and Anxiety. Um, I like the themes of acceptance. I like the themes of anti-racism. I don't know a better word for that. I'm trying to... I can't... I keep saying anti-racism. There's got to be a better word than anti-racism. Production on this album is really great. Honestly, I really, really like this album, and I'm going to give it four stars out of five. This album, man, I feel like I have barely scratched the surface of this album, because like I said, it's huge. There's a lot to talk about. Like, it's hard to review this thing, man. This is a tricky album to wrap my head around. It'd be a very long review if I really went in detail. I, you know, I just kind of said, the production's great. I didn't go in detail about the production. I didn't go in detail about the music and why it sounds so cool. Or, you know, how he tackles these, these you know, subjects very effectively on some of these songs. But, um, whatever. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching the video.